we have made it known that we would like to be a here at SFGH and within DPH a, an, an employer of choice and a provider of choice. How do we become a provider of choice between what we do really well? We provide medical care and services really well. Every, every patient chooses health care when they have an option to choose, choose their health care on just a few things. I think the first thing they want is great care. Ten years ago I had cancer and, and what happened was I couldn't walk up a flight of stairs. And the people in that department got me into an immediate um, operation, found a slot that was vacant, got me in right away, had a, had a colon resection, and hasn't come back. So <clears> the <throat> second time that I came through the hospital, admitting, the admitting was not, not a good experience, but they saved my life. So. I will definitely um, never leave San Francisco General for the orthopedic surgery department uh, and actually the overall results of the, all the procedures and the treatments that I have received here. And I think the world now knows that you guys are, well, we've always known you guys are the top in the trauma and I see you are, are uh, exemplary. Uh. When our patients come to the institution, they expect that high level of care at all levels of interactions with the institution. And as a patient, I was completely freaked out. One, because I, was, I had no energy and had been progressively getting worse from something I had no idea what it was. So I was understandably upset when I walked in and off balance. So when I got here, um, again, the admitting experience. Was in the woman who was admitting in the emergency room was abrupt, curt, and uh, insulting. I had encountered so many communication problems with people who work here. People who are insensitive, people who would ask you, do you speak English? Do you understand what I'm saying? Things like that. And I observed an employee yelling at the patient because he did not fill up a form properly. And I said, I could have been that patient because I can see very well. I have low vision. Telling. I think a lot of the time we fear sharing times with our patients. We fear telling them how long a wait time will be. But I think what we're hearing is it's worse not to say anything. Saying nothing just means that either we've forgotten about you, we have um, either maybe not even checked you in. So just communicating with our patients is super critical. I know that you guys are doing the best you can. I didn't know why I had to wait four hours in the tree and corny. But then when they explained to me why, I realized they have to see 60 patients, patients in a four hour term. So if you guys communicate with us and let us know what's going on, we will be more open and we'll have a different point of view. Just uh, let's see the human side of the patient experience. We're just not a medical record number. I'm sorry, we if I'm going to the neurologist, I take a, a pad, a, a cushion, and my iPad, because I'm gonna, the waiting room is gonna be full. There's no seating outside, and I'm gonna be sitting in the hall waiting to be called, so I might as well sit comfortably on the floor. Then, if I'm going to um, urgent care, I take my computer, some books, something that will keep me from the six to nine hours that I'm gonna be there. And when I'm in the emergency, I actually take a sleeping bag because I'm not gonna be there less than 12 hours. Um, they have an improvement. Uh, we have, uh, there used to be a 10 hour wait at the emergency room. Now luckily it's just about six. Um, so we're getting there. I, I went to 3M recently and I've had bad experiences there in the past, but this time I walked in and, I, and the admitting nurse said to me, I said, how long do you, th I was almost afraid to ask, how long do you think it's going to be? She said, it might be a couple of hours. And I said, do I have time to go get something? She said, look, here's the time. She said, come back in an hour and quarter, go have lunch. And I came back, I had lunch, and I could plan a little bit. I sat down, I was comfortable. As a patient myself, and somebody who comes here to, to accompany my mom, I see the changes. You know, I start talking to the staff about the service excellence, and they, you know, everybody was saying that they like it. 